difficulty will come peace, harmony, and godliness. Here's a scripture that really gives us a, a good p- uh, picture of this. Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. Therefore, wait for me, declares the Lord, for the day when I rise up as a witness. Indeed, my decision is to gather all nations, to assemble kingdoms, to pour out on them my indignation, all my burning anger, for all the earth will be devoured by the fire of my zeal. Wait, the earth is devoured? I thought you said the detour after resurrection was on earth. But it the is. earth just got devoured. Well, 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 hang on. Time out, time out. Hey, see, when we read prophecy, we have to understand. We have to put it in the in, in the context that it belongs. It says the earth will be devoured by the fire of my zeal. And you say, well, that means the earth is being burned up. No, it means the social order of things is being burned up. How do we know that? Because the next verse, you don't even take a breath between the two verses. Here's what verse 9 says. Go ahead, Julie. For then I will give to the people's purified lips that all of them may call on the name of the Lord to serve him shoulder to shoulder. So this is really important because God's future kingdom for all that burning anger and devouring, it ended with purified lips calling on God and serving him. So this isn't eternal fire picture with people being tortured and no. not having full discernment and full knowledge. We're praise every, the whole of humanity's praising him. Yes. Yay. So what happened to to that broad road to destruction? Big old sign, road closed. Closed. (laughs) It's done. It's over because of Jesus' sacrifice. Yes. And in effect, another road opens up. Uh, Look at Isaiah 35, 8 to 10. It says a highway will be there, a roadway, and it will be called the highway of holiness. The unclean will not travel on it, but it will be for him who walks that way and fools will not wander on it. No lion will be there, nor any vicious beast go up on it. These will not be found there, but the redeemed will walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord will return and come with joyful shouting to Zion with everlasting joy upon their heads. They will find gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Beautiful. It is beautiful and it's prophetic. And folks, if it's beautiful and it's prophetic and it's an earthly picture, what are we waiting for? We need to just simply embrace that this is the way the scriptures help us understand what happens to that broad road to destruction and what happens to all of humanity. And it is a good ending. It's a good end, not without accountability, but it's a good ending.